Now it's time to start giving our NPC some behavior and the way I'm going to do this is with a behavior tree which is the normal sort of way. So I'm going to explain basically how this works using a PowerPoint slide. So behavior trees are a bit like a flowchart although there are significant sort of differences and you always have a root a root node. This root is the starting point of the tree, the entry point if you like. Now coming off of there you can have children and we're just going to have one single selector. Now selectors select the first child node that they own that does not fail and initially we're only going to have one child node off of the selector and that will be a sequence node. Now sequence nodes execute what are known as tasks from left to right and the first one we're going to have coming off of that is a find random location task and this task will look for a random location in in the what's known as the nav mesh which is the area that the NPC is allowed to patrol and then we'll have a move to task which will move to the random location and a wait task which will wait for a small period of time the sequence will execute these tasks from left to right over and over again the find random location task will write to a blackboard key now these blackboards are objects which can contain variables and you can write to those variables and read from them so we're going to have a vector key called target location the find random location when it finds a random location will write that location to that key and then the move to task will read it and move to the location so this will enable the npc to just randomly move about the arena so in unreal so in this ai folder I'm going to create a blackboard tree under artificial intelligence so you just right click and under artificial intelligence you want a behavior tree and I'm going to give it a name of BT NPC we also need a blackboard under artificial intelligence again need a blackboard and I'm going to call that a BB NPC I'm going to do a save all now if I open up the tree we've got this root node and on the right here at the top you can switch between the tree and the blackboard. It's automatically picked up this blackboard. You can see here if we expand this behavior tree node, it's got this blackboard here and you can select the appropriate blackboard. We've only got one. So the first thing I'm going to do, if you go on this area here where when you hover, it becomes yellow. If you hold down the left mouse button and drag, it says it's going to place a new node. And if you let go, you've got a choice of nodes you can have here. We're going to have a selector. And again, you can drag off of here and create a node. Now we want a task. We want this find random location task, but it doesn't actually exist. So we're going to have to actually create one ourselves in C++. Now I'm going to open up the blackboard again. And what I'm going to do is to prepare for all this by adding this key. And if you look at this button here with a drop down, click on it. We want a vector. I'm going to call that target location. And I'm going to save everything. I actually need to add to this arena a nav mesh bounds volume. So if you come up here where it says quickly add to the project, there's a little drop down. It's under volumes, nav mesh bounds volume. That's what we want. So it's added it. Now I'm going to go to the top. It's in completely the wrong place and it's not the right size either. If you hover over the right place, you can drag it in the X and Y directions. Now to resize it, uh, it's the R key. I'm going to resize it. The way I did that was you can see you've got these two sort of arms coming out. There's a, a little sort of diagonal. If you do that so that both of the X and Y axes are selected you can then just click and drag and it will resize this volume in the x and y directions and i haven't quite got that in the right place have i i selected w to switch to the drag mode from resize so i now need to just make it a bit 
sort of wider or something so if I just drag on the Y direction that will now cover the entire arena I suspect it's not in the right position in the Z direction so if I do that yeah it's up in the air if I press W to switch back again I'm going to drag it down so that it's actually on the floor maybe a little bit below to make sure and I'm then going to actually I should have done this first I'm going to make this taller drag it up a bit the reason I'm doing that is so that the NPC can come up onto these raised areas. So that's that. I'm going to do a save all. And that will be it for this video. We're going to write that task, that C++ uh, behavior tree class in the next video.